this is Good. the Next Best Picture Podcast. I'm Giovanni Lago, and I am here with one of the stars of Flaming Hot, Dennis Habert. Dennis, thank you You're welcome. for being here. Now, I just have to say, I'm not trying to sound like super fan, you've had such an immaculate career, you know, in film and television. You've done so many great things. And I personally feel you haven't had the flowers you deserve. And in this film, your character, you know, uh, Clarence, he's in that same position, you know, he's working at Frito-Lays, he's one of the best in the factory, and he's not really getting the acknowledgement he deserves. Do you feel like when you were working in that performance, you were able to tap into those emotions, you know, being so long as a veteran in this industry? To, to a certain extent, yes, absolutely. Um, but basically, it was all on the page. Mm-hmm. And, um, and yes, and, you know, uh, as, as an actor and artist and everything else, you, you've, you've gone through things like that. You know, yeah. uh, I've gone through that when I was, uh, before I became an actor, you know, and I had, you know, uh, little jobs here and there where I thought I, I should have been a little higher up than I, <laughs> than I was. You yeah. know? And, uh, and, and hence the, um, uh, the, uh, the, the isolation that he had. Uh, even within the story, you know, ate lunch by himself, you know, kept to himself. It was just him and his machines. And uh, and then uh, here comes uh, Richard Montanez to, uh, you know, basically help him come out of his shell, you know, and he comes out of his shell in order to help Richard Montanez realize his dream. So, um, in this way, we all, you know, we all work together. And if you work together, excuse me, <clears throat> if you work together, anything's possible, anything and everything. Totally so. agree. I agree that, you know, us working together, helping, you know, build each other into positions that we can always achieve and succeed and make everyone better. And, you know, you mentioned Richard, Jesse Garcia is so good in the movie and so energetic. And you two together have such a, a fun dynamic what was it like playing off each other oh man it was exactly what you saw uh that's what we worked towards you know mm-hmm. and it, and it helped that we uh we genuinely like each other <laughs> <laughs> which isn't always the case in in movies and television but uh, we are still we are friends to this day uh, oh. so yeah it's 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 wonderful that's that's yeah. great to hear yeah so the uh and we vibe you know mm-hmm. And uh, and it's nice to be able to do that organically and and not have it just be you know you know superficial and you know and just vibe because you have to we mm-hmm. we vibed because that was the natural order of things and uh, so it was it was spectacular to work with yeah you totally see it coming off the screen and, and that just also was such great direction and I know you've worked with some great filmmakers over the course of your career, you know, Michael Mann and Gina Prince Bythewood and Todd Haynes. And now you're working on Eva Longoria's, you know, feature debut. What makes her stand apart compared to those previous filmmakers I just mentioned? Um, well, you know what? When you were mentioning them, I was thinking, you know, that she's right on par with all of those people. Um, mm-hmm. All in different ways, of course. But um, Eva, not only being a uh, great actor, she uses that ability uh, in front of the screen uh, to work behind the camera, you know, because she understands actors and she understands what she goes through. So she innately understood what we were going through in front of the camera. And she would do everything she could just to support us and help us discover who our characters were. And uh, and she and she directed with a uh, with a gentle hand, you know. There were never any problems or, or you know flare ups or anything else like that on the on the set. Everything came from a place of love and admiration and uh, and uh, and enjoyment and you know and and love for each other. So it was it was a you know it was a love fest. <laughs> <laughs> you know? that's good that's you always want that you know you always want an environment where you come in you, you don't know what to expect and everything just eases into it and it just feels completely 
natural and everything's going great. Um, I just got to ask, you know, movies flaming hot. It's about flaming hot Cheetos. Are you into like spicy chips at all? If so, which one are you going to pick? Well, you know, I'm into everything, man. Okay. <laughs> you know? But, yeah. you know, but to stay healthy, you know, you can't eat much of it. But, I feel and, you. But that's why they call them snacks. <laughs> um, you know, and you had a little bit here, a little bit there. But um, no, I, of all, the, I, I got to be honest, with of all the um, spicy snacks there are out there, uh, Flaming Hot Cheetos would probably be my favorite. Okay, I, yeah. I have to recommend if you haven't tried the flaming hot ruffles, very underrated. Flaming hot ruffles, okay. Yeah, okay. yeah. But it's something, um, and something about that Cheeto, that Cheeto shape, and and everything yeah, else. And, and the crunch, it's the crunch. The crunch, man. Because I mean, I I love the regular <laughs> Cheetos. Mm -hmm. Um. Well, also in this film, as we mentioned earlier, you know, you you get out of your shell. And you loosen up because you're the very like the straight man to uh, Jesse Garcia's, you know, very energetic comic uh, guy. And throughout mm -hmm. the movie, you loosen up and you do get zingers here and there. Is um, Are you looking towards more in your future career to be open to playing more comedic roles in that era or uh, in that aspect? It, you know, it's all about the script, uh, Giovanni. Uh, mm -hmm. Whatever, whatever the my my manager and, and agents come up with if i if i like what's on the page you know i'm gonna have a lot of fun with it you know um mm -hmm. just finished a movie with uh diane keaton kathy bates and uh alfie woodard wow. called summer camp and it's a nice little rom-com you know enjoy the hell out of that <laughs> you know so it's, yeah. a, it's kind of part and parcel of the way this movie came out and um Yes, I would love to play that. I'd love to play more science fiction. I'd love to play more drama, you know, mm -hmm. more action adventure. I love it all, brother. <laughs> all right. <laughs> I love well, it thank all. you so much. Thank you so much for your time. This was great. Um, I just want to say this is one of the first interviews I've done for the site. So I want to appreciate you for making this such a great experience. And you are so good in the film. Um, have a good well, day. Thank you. You do the same. You too. Good luck. <laughs>